so much for joining us for a session of prayer and devotion let us begin with a word of prayer heavenly father we thank you so much for this day that you have given us oh god thank you for allowing us another opportunity to meet together this way oh god to pray to read your word and to be encouraged by your spirit i pray that you may continue to challenge us to become better oh lord as the church to become better as individuals in jesus mighty name we pray amen and uh, this week we have been looking at spiritual blessings in Christ. Spiritual blessings in Christ. Now every believer has been given an inheritance by virtue of being a child of God. As long as you have accepted Christ as Lord and Savior of his life, then you are a co-heir. You are a partaker of all the spiritual blessings, all the blessings that God has given his children. You are part of an inheritor of those blessings. You know, because of this reconciliation through Christ, we have access to physical and spiritual riches, both in this age and in the age to come. So for us as believers, it is upon us to believe, it is upon us to understand, it is upon us to seek out these mysteries, these blessings that are hidden in the kingdom of God for you and for me, to believe and to receive it, to claim those blessings in our lives so that we're not living an ordinary life. Let the presence of God in your life be the distinguishing factor because you are a child of God. You know, desire, desire that you live a different life desire that you speak differently, desire that you, um, you, you, you will walk differently, you live a different life, that they will look and see that this is something that is different about this person. And uh, this moment, um, this day in specific, we are looking at forgiveness of sins. And we are reading from Ephesians chapter 1, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7 to 10. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 to 10 and the word of God says in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding he made known to us the mystery 
of his will according to his good pleasure which he purposed in Christ to be put into effect when the times reach their fulfillment to bring unity to all things in heaven and on earth under Christ look at that that in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according with the riches of God's grace this is the reality for you and for me as a believer that the Lord has put away your sins as far as the east is to the west that is how much God has forgotten your sins that is how much God has forgotten your past as long as you have come before him in repentance and saying that Lord I repent and I say that Lord I want to live a different life I want you to be part of my life once we confess our sins and once we believe that Jesus died on the cross, then we are partakers. Then this spiritual blessing of forgiveness and redemption belongs to you and me. So it is upon us to live under this grace. It is upon us not also to abuse this grace and to say that I'm already forgiven so I can live my life the way um, the way I want to. You know, the word of God says that grace should empower us to live in righteousness grace does not excuse us to live in sin saying that i have freedom to do anything no we should understand that we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses that is this spiritual blessing that we are forgiven that we live under grace that we are free and free indeed it should lead us to more righteousness it should lead us to live lives that are holy and pure before god it should lead us to live lives that are a blessing to others that are blessing to the kingdom of God the forgiveness of sin the redemption of sin and the grace that we live in should lead you and me as a believer even to lead others to Christ we should not just live our lives in by ourselves and and say that as long as I'm going to heaven I don't care about anyone else as long as I perfect my my journey to heaven no that is not what that is not why we were redeemed we were redeemed so that we can draw others and pull others along and say hey you do not need to live in shame and guilt you do not need to live under the yoke of slavery anymore you have been forgiven you have been set free you have been delivered and salvation has come this is your moment you know and leading others to Christ winning souls for the kingdom and we want to thank God for this spiritual blessing of redemption and forgiveness of sin you know the psalmist says and he raises this praise to the Lord in Psalms 103 verse 1 to 5 and he says praise the Lord my soul all my inmost being praise his holy name praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion who satisfies your desire with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle that that is that is the posture of our heart that we should always remember to praise the lord praise the lord my soul praise my lord uh, praise the lord my inmost all my inmost being forget not his benefits his redemption, how he heals our diseases, how he goes ahead even to crown us with life, to crown us with compassion and to satisfy our desire with good things. Friends, these are the spiritual blessings that we have in Christ. Yes, and we should be grateful because Jesus has blessed us. So let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we give you all the glory and all the praise this morning, O oh God. Father, we come before you in thanksgiving, O oh God. We come before you like the psalmist, O oh God, in Psalm 103, O oh God, praising you, O oh God, praising you with all our inmost being, knowing that without you, where would we have been, O oh God? Without your without the forgiveness of sin, without the redemption of God, where would we be? You know, God, when we remember the, the far that you have brought us, O oh God, when we remember the pit that you have redeemed us from, O oh God, when we remember that moment when you called us, when you snatched us out of the fire, when we remember, O oh God, when you reached out your hand and saved us and pulled us, O oh God, from, the, uh, from drowning, O oh God, 
Lord, our hearts can only whelm with thanksgiving every moment, every day we wake up, every day that we wake up to your mercies that are new every morning. Our souls can only well up with thanksgiving. Our souls can only well up with praise, O oh God, and say that, God, if it were not for your grace, if it were not for your forgiveness, if it were not for the million chances, O oh God, that you have granted us, O Lord, where would we have been, O God? Indeed, the enemy would have swallowed us in guilt and shame. The enemy would have swallowed us, O God, in a life of sin, O God. But Lord, you rescued us, O God. You rescued us from the fire, O God. You rescued us from drowning, O King of glory. You rescued us from the enemy's hold, my Father. And this morning, O God, we can only say thank you. Jesus, we praise you for the great sacrifice, O God. If you are not for the cross, if it were not for your obedience to the cross, oh Lord, we would not be singing this song. We would not be saying that we have this spiritual blessing, but because you are faithful to the cross, Jesus, then we can say that indeed we are the redeemed of the Lord. We can say that we are partakers with Christ of these spiritual blessings, oh God, and we want to thank you. We want to honor you, oh God. And we also ask for your mercy. We ask that you may forgive us, O God, in moments when we have take, taken this spiritual blessing of forgiveness and redemption for granted, O God. Lord, when we have um, misused this grace that you have given, given us, O God, that you have lavished on us, O Lord, when we have not been faithful because your grace empowers us to righteousness, when we have abused your grace, O God, and done what we want, O God, lived our lives in a way that is not honorable to you, O God. Yes, even having already, um, uh, being part of your family, Lord Jesus. Lord, forgive us this morning. Forgive us, my Father. I pray that Holy Spirit, you convict our hearts and our souls, O oh God, that we remember that you died on the cross for something, Jesus, that you paid a heavy price for each and every one of us so that we can realize our lives are not our own, O oh God, that we will stop living our lives for us, O oh God, that we will begin to live lives in recognition, Jesus, that you have placed us here in a, for a reason and a purpose and lord also have mercy on us oh god when we have lived our lives oh god um knowing you jesus but not sharing you, you with anyone oh god not sharing the gospel just living our days uh, living living our lives day by day oh god not sharing your word oh god sharing this good news oh god with those that are around us my father having kept oh god this good news for ourselves oh god father forgive us and remind us oh god it is the reason why you died on the cross for us that this good news will not remain continued only within our hearts, O oh God, within our souls, O oh God, that Lord will share this good news to those that are around us, O oh God, so that those that are around us can know that they are liberated, that they, are, they, they do not need to live under this, the yoke of slavery again, O oh God. Give us the courage, O oh God, to evangelize. Give us the courage to share your gospel. Give us the courage to live lives that are examples, O oh God, of who you are. Give us the courage to be bold, to declare your word and the good news, O oh God, in the darkness, O oh God, in moments of darkness, my Father, that will shine your light, Jesus. So we thank you for every spirit your blessing and this morning we are thanking you in specific for the forgiveness of sin and the redemption oh god that we have in you so we give you all the glory we give you all the praise in jesus name we pray amen thank you so much for joining us this morning i pray that as a child of god you will um receive and you will believe that indeed you are blessed with every spiritual blessing in christ amen and be blessed to worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I should have a new Na 
chataka ni wewe ni wewe tu na chataka ni wewe ni wewe tu haja ya moyo wangu ni Yesu tu haja ya moyo wangu ni Yesu tu hata kwa jaribio ni wewe tu hata kwa jaribio ni wewe tu haja ya moyo wangu ni Yesu tu haja ya moyo wangu ni Yesu tu